the clubhouse, the clubhouse, the clubhouse. So friends call in to play some games and hoping some new friends will do the same. It's a party in the clubhouse, the clubhouse. Hey, what's up, friends? Welcome to another episode of the clubhouse. My name is the dude. Thanks to the Minnesota Zoo, we saw chinchillas and turtles and snakes. Did, was there a giraffe here too? I think there was a giraffe. What about a hippopotamus? Was there a hippopotamus huh? here? Huh? Thought I saw one. Anyway, was there a dinosaur here too? I don't think so. Okay, just those other three. I just want to give a shout out to Amelie. Thank you again for your drawing. I've been showing it off all week like I promised I would. Amelie, you are an artist. Seriously, you are the Leonardo Di DiCaprio of artists. Thank you. Hey, we have friends in the booth. Hi, Brosif. Hi, Mr. Wizard. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey. hey, hey. Do we have a phone call? We do. We, do. we have a caller? We you do. Want to take it? It's our old friend. Oh, cool. Let's jump in and say hello to the Timster. What's up, dude? Yeah, what's up, dude? I'm just chilling. We got Dallas and Siama on our show today. What's up, Gessen? Yes. Our, Timmy's a friend of ours that likes to call from home. What's up today? Did you get caribou? I got caribou too. It's the dude. Hi. We haven't seen you in like six years. Who are you? Sola oh. Johnson's parents. Oh. Oh my gosh, we're live right now. Just come in. This is our TV show. This is what we do. This is little Zola. Oh, is, let me see Zola. Okay. This is Zola from oh. years ago. Oh my gosh. And then this is how our family has expanded. We, we've had you two more multiplied. Oh, are you? Is she watching? Channel 13. Uh, she's sleeping right she's sleeping oh, right sleepy. Now. Yeah, I would be too if I would. So. If I didn't have to be on live TV, I would be asleep as well. <laughs> so yes. Oh. Z oh. Well, um, can you do me a fave? Yeah. Of Just course. don't say it out loud because we got to keep you safe here. But uh, uh, your your uh, room number, because I can come and say hi. But let me write it. You can write it down. Uh, hey guys, let's keep it on a wide shot, you know, because this is anything or, or uh, whatever you can come up with, because I can come say hi later or something. I got questions, you. Sure this is it, but I'm not 100% certain. We'll find her. We have a way. We have ways of finding you. And that's not, not weird in a weird way. No, it's okay. It's just because it's a hospital. Lead. Oh, post surge. She's in. Got it. No, I got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Bloop bloop bloop. Awesome. Thank you. Wow. This is. You know what? Anything happens on this show. We have Timmy on the line too. Timster, do you have a question for me, Broski? Yes, I do. Go ahead. Who is the guest on our bus today? Bingo. Oh, let's see. I think it's our good friend Jeffrey from Physical Therapy. What's up, Jeff? Yeah, awesome. All right, Timmy, we had a big show to get to. Thanks for checking in. Good luck for music, dude. Thanks, dude. Bye. I'll see you, bingo. Cool. All right, dude. Bye. Bye. That's what we say, bye. All right. We also want to give a shout out to our audience members, too. We have Ida. There's a camera on you. We can, everybody can see you. And also, what's your first name? What's your first name? Yanka? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What up? You guys got your own camera. You guys, did you guys know that you were going to wake up and be TV stars? <sighs> oh, you're so lucky. Well, I, uh, we have, again, Mr. Wizard and Brosif in the, in the booth. And also, you can do whatever you want. You can call us at 55020. Is that right? 55020. Okay. Um, and I also want to do one quick thing, if that's okay. 
Am I, I'm here, I'm here, there I am. Oh yeah. <clears throat> moving, moving around a lot today. I know, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on and it takes a lot from the tech people to follow me, <laughs> making it hard. Anyway, I'm kidding. Don't move the camera, I'm gonna move. You guys are too quick to move the camera. I will move into frame, I, I get it. Do you? Yeah. What? Okay. No, I'm kidding. Teasing, teasing, having fun. Oh, big shout out before we introduce our guests. A big shout out to my friend, Olivia. I think you're watching. If you have a joke, you can call me and tell me a joke. In the meantime, I do want you guys to meet my guests today. It has been, I think we determined, almost eight years since our last meeting. They're super fun. There's a lot of music. There's a lot of fun culture and storytelling going on. Please welcome Siama and Dallas. Yeah. Hi. Welcome back. Oh my gosh. Siama and Dallas. Hi. Let's pull her way back. Yeah. Let's get the whole thing. Welcome back. Oh my gosh. So I just want to give a quick shout out that you are coming to us through a great organization, Flint Hills Family Festival. Yeah. Yes. yes, very cool. I want to get there uh, someday, but we have a lot to get to. So how do we start? How do we? How do you want me to get? How do we get into this? Okay, I'm gonna invite everybody to have imagination. Imagination? Yeah. Do you have imagination? I think I do. Raise your hand if you have good imagination. Ah. Oh, okay. I think it's pretty good. I like to imagine yeah. things are different for me. Yeah. Because I'll be taking you to my homeland right now. Your homeland? Yes. What's, where's that? Way in Africa. In Africa? Africa, in Central Africa. <laughs> wow. Called the Congo. The Congo? Yes. That's where you're from? Yes. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's a country and an instrument. Oh wait, no, that's conga. Conga. Uh, yes. Whoa, speaking of drums. Yeah. Oh. We What's this? Home. Take us to your hometown, oh. Siama. Yeah, yeah, dude. Okay. Yeah. That wailed, bro. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you are from the Congo, and I wonder, do we have um Somewhere that we could use our imagination, like if we were there in the booth, you know what I mean? Like, a, oh, look what just happened. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh! That is nice! That's cool how yeah. that happened. We used our imagination and that's what happened. All right, now let's imagine Dairy Queen. Yes. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Okay, sorry. All right. No, I thought that might happen. Uh, okay. So I want you to take over. Is that okay? Can do you? Are you ready to tell your story? Sure. Okay. All right. I'm gonna be nearby. I'm gonna go sit by Ida. Is that okay? Yeah. And then if you need me, I'll pull me back up in a little bit. But I, I want to turn out, it over. Help out with mics if you could too, dude. Just what? whatever needs to be mic'd. Whatever needs to be mic'd up there would be nice to help out with. I, I have that amp mic'd, but you know anything else that's not mic'd. I think, um, I think, no, I like think we're okay. Is now. How's that sound? It's pretty good. Okay. And it is, uh, the thumb piano is coming from there too. So you're from Congo? Yes. And if we all want to say hi to Siama in his own language, you say, mm, bote. Siama, Mbote, Siama. Yeah, and then now, <laughs> because if we are there with Dallas, we can say to Mbote to Dallas. Let's say Mbote, Dallas. Mbote, Dallas. Hi, we're so glad you're here. When we went to visit his family in Congo, we took a long, long bus ride, and yeah. when we got off the bus, there were a bunch of kids, so we said, bote, bote, mm -hmm. and then we ran across town, and then I went to knock on his mom's and door. I stopped her, I said, no, don't knock yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but because back home, you can't just knock at the door. You have to use the word ko to knock at the door. Ko? Oh, yes, you go three times. Ko, ko, ko. Ko, ko, ko. Can 
we try it? Go, go, go. Actually, you wrote a song about yes, that. Yes, there is some, yeah. So. Repeat after me. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Otenayo. Otenayo. Moninga. Moninga. You know, ko, ko, ko means knocking. And botenayo means, hey, how are you doing? It's kind of like the dude would say, soap. Soap. Yeah. And moninga is my friend. <laughs> so let's do this. Okay. It's just like a, that was a song that you'd be like, you know, hey you guys, come on in, let's have a snack exactly. or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's so. And so you know what the song is? Inviting. Yes. It's like it's like come on in, yes. have yes. a good time. Yeah. Come on in. <laughs> yes, we have a question. Go ahead. Oh, is there a language? Can we talk about the language? Yes, that is the Congolese language called the Kikongo. Kikongo. Yes. So from the lang la from the country the of Con Congo. the Congo. Yes. Right. And it's the Congo, not yes. just Congo. It's like the clubhouse. The That's where we're at in my yeah, show. Yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. There's many, many different languages yes. in Africa. Yes. yes. Many. Many. I think we have, like, just in the Congo, we have more than 200 some. 200? Yes. Wow. Yes. In, in the Congo? Yes. 200 different languages? Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, in one country of 200, oh my gosh. Yes. I mean, I can barely even speak English, you know what I mean? Like, and, it's hard and, for me some days. And then you don't have to know every language and choose five of them, maybe. People can Only learn. five. <laughs> Only five languages. How many do you understand or can speak? Um, the Congolese language, I think, the Congo, Lingala, and the French, Swahili, so for French. Mm -hmm. Yes. You French. speak French? We, yes. Oh. <laughs> and he used to speak Ugandan and some Japanese and some Arabic but, as but, well. So English is ow. his eighth language. My eye hurts from trying to understand that. Oh, that was because of traveling. Going oh, you're traveling. Yes. Yeah. We have a question here. Go ahead. Do you speak Spanish? No, I don't. There is some words similar to French, French in Spanish. In, in I can ways. understand, but I can't. I know one phrase in French. Do you yeah. want to hear it? Mm -hmm. Tour est très belle, c'est soi. 
Sesswa. Hello. I mean, you look really nice tonight. Tonight. Yes. <laughs> That's the only thing I know. <laughs> so if I'm ever in France, or France, and I'm walking along in the nighttime and I see somebody that looks that's all dressed up, I would say that to them. Yes. <laughs> You're ready. Yes, yeah. I'm ready. All right. Well, um, so now you've welcomed us yes. into, and here we are. Yay. Um, now what do we want to learn? Well, after the, the, your family welcomed yes. us, yeah. and by the way, you can say co 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 when you visit your friends too. Co co co, Mr. You can Ruger. be like co co co, hey, Mr. Co co co, dude. Co co co, Ida. Co co co. Even if you visit a friend in the hospital, when you walk up to the door, you can be like co co co. Co co co, Olivia. <laughs> When we were at your family's place in Congo, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. they all greet each other like this. They kiss on each cheek, like mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah. And there were I've so many that. of them, so we were like this for a long time. Mwah, 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 mwah. I've seen that on TV. Yeah. <laughs> and then we had some dinner outside and the whole sky turned bright pink and bright orange and mm, bright purple. Beautiful. And we watched the sun go doodle-a-doo, 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 boop. And then we were like, Wait a minute, it was really quiet and dark there. Mm -hmm. And I realized they don't have electricity. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what are we going to do without TV and video games? And YouTube is very important to my life. Yeah. But Siam explained they tell stories and sing under the stars. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. That's what you do when you don't have yeah. like, when you don't have a PlayStation. Yes, dude, and it was the original movies and TV. Yeah, and the younger generation can ask questions to elders what they wanna know. Right. Yeah, like what was it like back when we? Yes. Do, do, yep. do, 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 or yeah. questions about yes. the other generations. Yes. Like how cute was I when I was little? Yeah. yeah. Like I asked my grandpa all the time, like what was it like when you, you know. Back in the day. Yes. <laughs> and then he tells me stories. Yes. One of them asks, That's the same thing. Uncle Siama, tell us about when you found a big python in the kitchen. What? Yeah. They what? What's the thing with snakes today? <laughs> we had a snake on, and now we're talking about a python in a kitchen. <laughs> this, this show is this, it's all about snakes today. And guess what? I'd have touched it. <laughs> You touched it for real? She, yeah. petted, she petted the snake two times. Oh, awesome. Anyway. So when we were there yeah. the first yeah. night, one of the kids asked his mom, Grandma, how did you meet Grandpa anyway? I don't think I ever heard that story. Uh -huh. I didn't know her yet. So I thought she was going to be like, he was a good boy. But no, she's no. really funny and sarcastic. So she said, um, well, he was the only cute boy in town, so I had to get him for oh. myself. And all the kids were like, ew. Grandma, Grandpa was a cute boy. <laughs> she was like, yeah. And then the kids made up a whole song, remember? Yeah. They started saying, kitoko, kitoko, because that means cute. You need to know that word. Oh. I know. <laughs> Everybody said, kitoko. Kitoko. They made up a whole song. It was like this. Oh, take it away. I'm gonna, are you kitoko, oh, mama, kitoko. Hey, hey. Kitoko, oh, mama, kitoko. I was so amazed because the kid came up with the whole song like that. Cool. And yeah. the grown-ups liked it. They weren't like, that's immature, be quiet. They were all, your mom started dancing. Yes, my mom and said. What was your uncle? My uncle started uh, drumming using his chest and laps. I, I can't it's really do, but. Uh, Can you do it? Oh, I can't because my microphone's right here. Oh, me too, oh. actually. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Wiz. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe on your stomach. Yes. And then he started to beatbox. Can you do that? Even a simple part. No, I'm not good at it. I was amazed. Cool. Everybody there was doing something. It, you know, like the older guys were like, Kito go. And the women were making this super cool sound. I can't really do it, but it's like. Yeah, yeah. Only women can do that. <laughs> and then, I was the only 
the one that wasn't doing anything. But you could relate. I, I didn't want to feel awkward. Yeah. I mean, so I just no, was. No, I'm, I'm, I'm that way all the time with my family. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just watching in amazement. Yeah. But then Siama's sister said, what's wrong with Dallas? Isn't she happy here? She's not singing. I said, no, she just arrived. She needed to learn some language before she can sing with us. <laughs> His sister just laughed said, and said, no. oh, brother, don't you remember? We don't need language to yeah. sing. We're just going to make up a word. Everybody say, yele, yele. Yele, yele. Let's sing a song about yele, yele. Take it away. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, do it. Yeah, go. Oh. I Fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so much fun. By the way, we 
through and cut to the fam cam just a quick sec, I got an announcement. I'm seeing my old friend Becca is here. What? Why am I blocking her? There she is. Becca, hi! Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it's been a long time. Good to see you, my friend. Looks like you're just thriving and just absolutely wailing. Way to go. Way to go. Well, I want to play a game while you're here. Is that okay? Can we play a game? I think that'd be fun. Because, you know what's... Hi. Do um, you know what's fun is that we're finding out stuff, we're learning stuff, and um, I think it's time What's that we find name? out, what? What is it again? It's the game. What do they? Oh. Uh, Not ready? No. Well, yeah, no, we can, we can do it. Just give me a second. We had, the, we had the zoo on, so. We had the zoo on, so we weren't able to quite prepare the way we wanted to, Becca, Becca's family <laughs> and Ida. But we, we can play tippity toppity? We can do Absolutely, that. Absolutely, yeah. Well, let's do I'll, that. I'll, I'll queue up the other one for later. Queue up the other one for in a little bit if we have time for it okay. to play it. But right now, because this is a good one for us to play, um, this is a game that's super fun. It's called Top Three. Top Three. Tippity toppity top three. Tippity toppity top three. Tippity two. It's called Top Three. It's not one, not two, not four. The name of the game is Top Three. Give it up for the vocal stylings of Mr. Wizard. That was, yeah. that was nice. Um, okay, here's how this is gonna work. I need one of you at a time. Mm -hmm. So let's start with uh, Siama. Let's yeah. have Dallas, you have to go out there and not hear us. You have to be so far away that you can't hear us until I call your name. <laughs> now, I'm going to have questions for you. Yes. And you have to think of what is the most popular answer. Uh, yeah. And you have people that can help you here. Oh. Now, are you guys ready to help? If you, if you can? Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. You think of what is the most popular answer. Here we go. Mm -hmm. What Name a job in entertainment that performs live. Musician. Musician, right? Like Taylor Swift or something? She had, right? Okay, that's a good answer. Name a food that you don't have to chew. You can just, a food you don't have to chew. Mm, I know one. Soup? Oh, soup is a good one. What were you gonna say? Swal yeah, you just swallow it. Soup, you don't chew soup, do you? Unless it's super chunky chili. I like soup as an answer. Yeah. Name something that a dog is trying to tell you when it's barking. What is a dog trying to tell you when it's barking? I want to go out. I have to go outside. outside. Okay, great. Name a famous, can you think of a famous bridge? Becca, can you name London a famous? The London Bridge. Actually, we should now call Arizona. We should call the Arizona Bridge because... London moved it over here. London moved it over here to Arizona. I didn't know that. When that ha when that go down? Like, closer to 1980 or something like that? Sears? Well, it's been a while back. Baby. London Bridge it is. Name something that comes along with Peter Pan. A book? The book, it's a book, but how about a, is there another character you can think of or, yes. Were you gonna say Tinkerbell? Yes. Yeah. Tinkerbell, yeah, his little buddy. Huh? Or Elsa. or Elsa, I love Elsa. You know why you don't give Elsa a balloon? Cause she'll let it go, let it go. <laughs> she won't hold on to that balloon. Okay, Becca. All right, nothing's changed. Oh, I'm still the same. Other than Winnie the Pooh, can you name another character of Winnie? Piglet. Ida said Piglet. You want to go with Piglet? Yes. That's a. Let's go to Piglet. Ida, that was a good. I talk. What's something that you need to play hockey? She said a puck. 
Oh, what good is good, yeah. Hockey? You don't have the puck. Yeah, you have to have that. That's a good one. Next one. Name something you would hate to forget if you were going camping. What do you need? A tent. A tent. I just said a tent. Yeah, that's it. Hey, I'm gonna. I shouldn't. I shouldn't tell anybody what's going on. But guess what? Tent was the number one answer. Yeah. Okay, Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Name something you eat on Thanksgiving. Chicken. What else? Turkey. What else? You know, I like to get up on some mashed taters. Yeah. The gravy. Stuffing. That's a great one. Yeah. It's funny that it's called stuffing because I feel stuffed <laughs> after I eat. Yeah. <laughs> Next, name the month where the weather really starts to get warm. Like April or something? May. May? This month? June. I like it. <laughs> May. May. Right now? Yeah. Your yeah. birthday's in May? Ah. Your birthday's coming up? When did you Ooh. just have your birthday? Hey, Mr. Wizard. Yeah. Ida just had her birthday last week. Guess what? Yay! I'm gonna pause, we're going to pause the game, Yay! Siama. I don't know if Dallas is still here. Did she take off? She got in an Uber, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'm Okay. Guess what? Ida, this is for you. My new friend. This is a special birthday song I just wrote for you. Hey. Happy birthday to Ida, our new Star Studio friend. Yeah. Did you turn? I probably, I, I, okay, so you said May? We're gonna go say this month. This month is when it starts to warm up for sure. It's like gonna be 80 today. You know what I mean? Yeah. Gosh, get outside. It's the can. Congo out there. Name something I do in my spare time. What do I do when I don't have anything going on? You know me. Yeah. What do I do when yes. I'm hanging out? Play piano. Play piano. What? Play piano? Uh-huh. I wish. You sleep. I don't have that kind of <laughs> sleep. Yeah. That's you know me so well. Name something you'd find in a breakfast sandwich. You know, like you get a breakfast sandwich. Yes. What's in it? Egg. Yep. Okay. Let's welcome Dallas. You're up. You guys did really good. You really helped Siama, and some of your yeah. answers were the number one, yeah. or the number two, or the number three answers. Yeah. Now you cannot repeat an answer that he gave. If you do, uh -oh. you will hear this sound. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> And give me a new answer. Now, it's just the most popular answer. Now, you guys have already heard these. Dallas has not heard them. Here we go. N name an entertainment job that performs live. A dancer. Sure. Name a food you don't have to chew. Pudding. Name something that a dog is trying to tell you when it barks. It wants you to come home. Come home. Name a famous bridge. The Verrazano. That's fancy. That's so famous, I never heard of it. Name something associated with Peter Pan. Being young forever. Oh, sure. Like the Peter Pan syndrome. Like, I don't know anybody who would have that. <laughs> it's like the thing that you have when you don't really want to grow up and be an adult. <laughs> what? That? I don't mm. know. Come mm. on. <laughs> what are you guys looking at? <laughs> Mm. Uh, okay. Um, other than Winnie the Pooh, name a hundred acre wood character. Mm. Oh, it has friends. to be Eeyore. Eeyore. What does he always say? 
Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for, for trying. Noticing. Thanks for noticing. Thanks uh. for noticing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, name something you need to play hockey. A puck. You guessed yeah. that? Yeah. Well, he, they, he had a lot oh, of help. Okay. Nah. <laughs> I thought I was safe with that one. <laughs> what do you think? Got to have something else to play hockey. A stick. Yeah, right? I know, right? Yeah. Name something you would hate to forget if you were camping. A tent. Because I... See, I'm a... Uh, what else? Oh, my coffee. Hmm, not wrong. Name a Thanksgiving side dish. Mushy green bean casserole. Oh, green bean casserole. Why don't we have that more often? Why do we wait until Thanksgiving to have that? You know what I mean? <laughs> Mr. Dubs, you get it, me? You feel not a fan. Not a fan. What? Sorry. How dare you? Sorry. I agree. <laughs> Becca, how could you? If you make it from scratch, it's really good. What if you throw some tater tots up in there, huh? Better. Just have the tater tots. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Name a month where the weather starts to warm up here in Minnesota. I'm assuming everybody said right now, so let me yeah. say April. April. Okay, that's it. Name something the dude, a.k.a. me, what do I do in my spare time when I'm just chilling, you know what I mean? What do I do? Play guitar. Name something you find in a breakfast sandwich. It hasn't been said yet. It hasn't been said. A slice of ham. Oh, delish. Okay, let's review these quickly. Let's see how they did. Now, uh, you need 27 points. Okay, the number one answer is worth three. The number two answers are worth two. And the number three answers are worth one. I can't believe I got that straight. You need 27 <laughs> points to earn your parking validation to get out of the ramp. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm just kidding. But it's like eight bucks, you know. It's a lot. Come on, parking ramp. Step up. Here we go. Name an entertainment job that performs live. Musician and singer, number two answer. You said dancer, that was number four. But the oh. game's called top three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Name a food you don't have to chew to swallow. Soup mm -hmm. and pudding, two and three, way to go. Yeah. For ice cream. I don't chew ice cream. No, I don't. Oh, yeah. I let it just sit up in there oh, and do a little <laughs> Name something that a dog is trying to tell you when it is barking. Happy to see you. Someone's coming. And yes, I need to go outside. Yeah. I'm is that number one? That was number three. So you got a point. Or just barking at the air. Or just barking. Yeah, squirrel, squirrel, or whatever. I saw one just bark at random things that. A ghost, baby. Yeah. yeah. I have three neighbors that have dogs that just bark, and it's really fun. It's really fun when the windows are open and I'm trying to huh? watch my TV shows. Yeah, just let them outside and let them bark, 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 That's fun. Um, name a famous bridge, London Bridge, number two. You said a bridge that I'm going to have to Google. Um, name something associated with Peter Pan. Tinkerbell, number one. They're always being young, we are looking for Neverland. And Captain Hook. Uh, still, you guys are doing very well. Uh, Winnie the Pooh character. Piglet. Number two answer. Now, I'm just going to say Siama had a lot of really I'm professional help. <laughs> very good helpers. Uh, name something you need to play hockey. Puck and stick. One and two. Way to go. Name something you would hate to forget if you were going uh, camping. We heard the number one answer from Ida. She said, tent. Yeah. You're like out there, and you're like, whoa, I forgot, I forgot the tent. We literally have to go back. Yeah. We're also saying food and flashlight. You know, what if you have to use a flashlight? Oh. Other things were good. Name a Thanksgiving side dish, stuffing, number one. Number three, green bean casserole okay. on the board. You guys are winning this. Name the weather when it starts to warm up uh, the month. April and May, number one and number two. Uh, Way to go. Name ooh. something I do in my spare time. Sleep, number two answer. <laughs> Playing guitar, I should play more guitar, but I don't. I play video games a lot. And finally, name something you'd find in a breakfast sandwich. You need, the, you need four points, which means you need the number one answer, and you need the number three answer. 
Breakfast sandwich. Egg, number one. Okay, we're watching. Ham and or bacon. Number three, you did it, 27 points. You can get out of the parking ramp. You don't have to live here. All right, let's get back to the storytelling and stuff. We were on such a nice roll um, because first of all, we went to the Congo and we said hi to everybody, come on in. And then we also sat around the fire and, and sang happy songs. So what is that? This is the instrument similar to what my dad used to play for us to go to sleep. I've seen this. Yes. You know what my, my family called it? Yeah. African thumb piano. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. They call it a thumb piano because you play with your fingers. Yes. What does it sound like? Uh -oh. Oh, yours is electric. Wow, yeah. cool. So at bedtime, after you sing Yele Yele and all the fun songs yeah. with all of Siama's family, at some point people start falling asleep and you gotta go to bed, mm -hmm. Ebai. Yeah. But something you gotta understand is that he had nine kids in his family. Yes. Nine. Was so if his I'm parents a child. <laughs> if in case you didn't know. It kind of shows, dude. Yeah, I know, I've been told. <laughs> So he had nine kids in his family. And then his parents would be like, be quiet and go to sleep. And the kids would be like, under these conditions? <laughs> Someone's, so many people, yeah. Everybody's yeah. bugging me. There's someone telling me a story. Somebody's laughing. Someone's crying and being dramatic. Yeah. Somebody's feet are in my face right now. Yeah. What would yeah. you do? And then we'll call Papa, my dad, instead of reading books to us, he will bring his special instrument. We used to have a song we called Family Song. So then he will play and sing the, that song. To so, help you fall asleep. Yes, oh, yes. It's so sweet. Yeah. And he said it was magic. You know why? Why? If we all fall asleep to the family song, <laughs> we get to go to dreamland together. see the Super Mario movie. <laughs> what? I'm uh, gonna count to three. Let's say, dude, wake up. Wake up. One, two, three. Dude, dude wake, wake up! up. Was, did I fall asleep? Yeah. No way. Actually. That works. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing later tonight? <laughs> Come over. I'll make you some mac and cheese with hot dogs in it. And, um, and uh, oh, I'm on TV. Okay, this is embarrassing. Well, come over and make your I've, dogs fall asleep. The neighbor so dogs. many things have happened throughout the years. I've never been put to sleep like that. <laughs> that was good. Very effective. Your dad knew what was off. Yeah, no. uh, I wish my mom and dad would have figured that out. That's Papa magic. That's Papa magic. Yes, I love it. I like the sound of that. It's very soothing, isn't it? Isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. 
very relaxing. I love to listen to music that's relaxing, especially yeah. if I feel anxious. Yeah. And I, the reason I said put your hand on your heart is I like to do that when I'm anxious, and I listen to soft music, and I just focus the music into my chest, and I just take a breath. <sighs> and it's so calming. Well, excuse me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Ida was gesturing that I need to cover up my... Okay. Um, once, oh, oh. once we fell asleep... Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Once we fell asleep in Siama's hometown, mm -hmm. it's far from the city. There's no traffic. There's no TVs or anything. All you can hear outside is this. Let me do it over here. It's people with some loose change in their pocket. That it's sounds like an animal of sorts or an insect or something. What does yeah. it sound like? Yeah. Does it, you think I think it's like a cricket or something? Yeah. Yeah, or a bullfrog yeah. or something like that. Yes. Crickets? It's crickets. Wow. How about this? <laughs> what if it's storming during the night? Then you get to hear this. It rained last night, actually. We yeah, because that that those are cool instruments that kids are uh, that kids see, and it really teaches us about the storms. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes. So Amazing. Is so beautiful and natural in Siama's hometown. Beautiful. Is it like a, 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 a kind of like, because um, I grew up in Iowa, actually. Mm -hmm. That's farm yeah. country. You can see forever. Yes. The sky. There's no mountains. There's no buildings. Just if you can see past the corn, yes. you know what I mean, like at a certain time of year. <laughs> no you can just see forever. Yeah. Like, so uh, there's a lot of sky. Yes, a lot, a lot of, of sky. sky. And where I grew yeah. up, there's also a lot of green trees and pretty green hills, mm. and there's a lot of rivers, so if you like fishing, you can just go get fish. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. to fish, actually. And yeah. I like to... Fishing pole. What? I have my own fishing pole. I like to play the card game, Go Fish. Yeah. Let's wrap it up with our final little song. Yeah. What would you like to send okay. us off with? Yeah. Would you like this to is flowing right by, by the way. It's yeah. going too fast. It is. Yeah. I want to keep hanging out with you. Yes, so let's do the coin because. Okay, yeah. let me set up the set, set story. The scene. Set the scene. Once we wake up, the rooster wakes everyone in town up. Oh. He's super noisy. Yeah, you got it, you're a star. <laughs> And then the kids go outside to play soccer. While you're playing soccer, there's a bunch of animals running around your feet, like cats, and dogs, and ducks, and goats, and about a thousand chickens. And the whole time you're trying to play, the duck jumps up and, and gets the dog, and the dog barks, and it freaks out the cat, and the cat jumps on the goat, and then the goat notices a ball and hits the ball with his head, and then that hits the chicken, and the chicken's like, ah! We're having the time of our lives. Good time. <laughs> All of a sudden, one of the kids points to the sky and says, Yimby! You say it. Yimby! A Yimby is a hawk. Just like we have in Minnesota. It has a wide wingspan, hard beak, little point, pointy claws, and little hungry eyes. And you know what he's thinking when he's looking down at us? He's going, yum. I love chicken. Yeah. Hawks love chickens. I'm going to tell you that much right now. Repeat after me. Oh, not today, Yimby. Oh, not today, Yimby. No chicken for you. No chicken for you. Go, Yimby. Oh,
Yeah. yeah. And then he flies away and he leaves the chickens alone. Ha ha. And, cool then. and then you hear them in the neighbor's yard and you can hear everyone going, go, Yimbi, go. Go, Yimbi, go. <laughs> well, uh, I just want to say it's a, been such fun to have you back. You, uh, We were talking about eight years ago you guys were yes. here. Yes. Um, and we also want to give a shout out, at least, to the Flint Hills Family Festival that you all, part has that already happened? It's the last week of May and the first couple days in June. During the day, around lunchtime, you can come and hear music, in like Saint including Paul? us one of the days, in St. Yeah. Paul in Rice Park, right outside of the Ordway. That is so fun. I love like day festivals and stuff. That's so is yeah. cool. And on Saturday is the big shebang. And so there's music all day on different stages. And there's an amazing bunch of cool things to do in the park, including you can come into a tent and jam with us on Tuesday to, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or on Saturday, mm -hmm. there's much more things like balloons, awesome. face painting. Yeah. And it's all free. That is awesome. There's yeah. a couple things you can pay for to see inside the theater, but there's a bunch that's free. Yeah. There's probably like food trucks and stuff too or something. Yeah. So much yeah. good food. Oh, the food. All the food. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, super fun. So Flint Hills Family Festival. Look it up. Google it. And look for Dallas and Siama. I also should announce too, we're not done today. Coming up, 2 o'clock. Bingo. We're, we're playing bingo. Again? Yes. Yeah. This is what I do. I sleep and I'm on TV. Those are the two things I do. Oh, and I, yes, yeah, sleep, that's right. I was, I was trying to think of a third thing, but there isn't. Also, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Wizard and Brosif in the booth. This was a wild day so far. We had the great. zoo, we had guests, I was, fell asleep. I, there were so many it's things I was great. moving around a lot. You guys did great, and I think oh, I'm gonna say this, exceeded expectations. Wow. Oh. Whoa, that's amazing. We'll take right. four out of five. That's good. That's not bad. That's, that is great. Well, uh, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, and we will see you. Becca, welcome back. It was good to see you, my friend. Ida, happy late birthday. I hope you had a great, great birthday. And my new friend, too. I hope you had fun today. Take those instruments with you if you want. I'll see you at two for bingo. Until then, hashtag later. Bye. Bye. Clubhouse, the clubhouse, the clubhouse, old friends calling the place.